So now, let's see how you can work with materials and textures inside of Adobe Dimension. So over here, I'm going to go around to the basic shape and bring in a spear as the object of my choice. And to apply a material, I can scroll down or I can go over here and filter out by materials right over here. And in materials, you need to know that there are two types of materials. Standard material right here, which are simple texture-based materials, and substance material, which gives more parameters. So let's go with the standard material first and start working with that. So let me just drag in a simple matte material right over here, and the material has been added. Once you add the material, uh, you can access its properties right over here. And if you don't find that out, you can go from the scene uh, menu right over here. You can go into Spear, click on this little arrow right over here on the side, and click on the material that you applied. In my case, it's a matte. So you can choose the base color right over here. You can also apply textures, which we're going to see um, a bit later. And we're also having a separate lesson on how to apply manual textures. So you can apply the base color. Offset and repeat only works with textures right over here. So let's go around with opacity. So I can decrease the opacity and increase the opacity that brings down the transparency and brings it up. You can also change the roughness so you can make it smooth or more rough as you can see right over here. So let me just keep it somewhere around here so you can change that out as you can see. So again, let me go inside. Other thing is metallic so you can make it dark and metallic as you can see or you can give a more plastic look right over here. You can also change out the glow right here so if you want to uh, make the object glow a bit you can increase that out as well. Normal Maps works with custom textures and everything else, so we are going to see that in next lesson. So over here, there's the translucent. So if I were to increase the translucent, you can see that it changes the look right here. You can change the refraction over here, a bit of refraction going on, density, and even change the entire color. So these are the options that is provided, and this is for flat graphics. If I were to add in something like a with a texture, let's say, for example, let's take this glitter and add it out right here. You can see that glitter is here. This is not really very uh, pleasant. So I'm just going to bring in the winters. So, yes. OK, so this one is pleasant to look at. So let's see how this works out. So over here, the properties is the same. But over here, you can see that there's base color. So in the base color, an image is applied, which is this thing right over here. So you can change the offset and change out where the image is actually projecting. You can even rotate this out. You can increase the number of repeat as well, just like this. And you can lock it out or unlock it and have different repeats from X and Y axis for different sort of look as you can see. In my case, I'm just going to add in two by two repeat right over there or maybe one by one to get the level of detail I have just like that. You can also change out everything else. You can also have, have your own textures. And like I said, we're going to see that in the next lesson. You can also apply a color and you can see that the texture is still there. Okay, that is there for that reason because the normal map over there is storing the texture as well. So you can see that you can apply an image or a color. So let me just leave that onto image for now. You can also change the offset by over here and change the repeat right from over here. The other options are the same. But over here, if you come down to normals right over here, you can see that this is the normal map right over here. So it is uh, in different uh, different shade as you can see. And over here, there's this text, this uh, depth going on right over here. So let me just go over here onto the top, change the base color to color to let to see how that actually works out. So if I were to change the color right over here and come down to normals, and you can see that I can change the offset. I can change the y-axis, I can change the rotation of the texture right over here, just like that. So it is actually changing the, um, the uh, bumping over here. So there's no details over here, but it is making it seem as if there's a lot of detail in the 3D model because of this very image right over here. And that is the normal map, just like that. So you can change that out over here as well. So that is 
the standard materials. So these are the options you get in standard materials right over here. If you were to go down and go to substance materials, you can see that there are a lot more options. So let me bring in something like this one. So if I were to bring this object right here, you can see that there's a bit of scratches and it's more detailed as you can see right here. So of course you got the roughness, the roughness variation as well, as you can see. So you got roughness variation, you got damage as well, which is exclusive to this material itself. So it is not just based on textures, but you got extra parameters. So you can adjust these scratches as you can see right here. They can address these splotches right over here. And you can really change the material just by changing out the value right over here. There. So there's dense. You can really increase the dense right over there. You can really increase the dirt level right over here. Really change the outlook of the material right over here. And that's the substance material. So you can go over here and choose other materials as well. For example, let me just bring in this one right over here. There's the roughness. There's the uh, patina and what, whatever this does it does make a bit of a change as you can see you can add in scratches over there as well scratch intensity and there you go you got a different look totally entirely you can change the luminosity which is based on that as well you can change the hue so hue setting is here as well saturation so this really depends on the material that you're bringing in so it's not exclusive um, to all the substance materials but all the uh, substance materials uh, have their own a set of options as you can see so you really need to play around with this and what you can also do is you can bring in your own substance materials as well from over here you can press plus and over here you can click on browse substance source so you can bring in other substance material as well so that is something we're going to see in further lessons as well so that is how you can work around with the standard and substance materials inside of Adobe Dimension. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.